Dr. Karen Can here. Welcome to another edition of the Spiritual Medicine Digest. And I am in San Diego. Yes, I just finished uh, an immersion with the Wellness Leadership Academy, learning how to be a better coach. So <laughs> I'm really excited uh, about going forward. So I'm in my hotel room. Um, the things that I want to tell you about this week, very, very interesting. Now, the first is about your light radius. So your light radius is... Um, this, you know, this field that's around you that radiates your light, the highest vibration. And as you walk around, as you interact with the rest of the world, anybody in that field where it's for their highest and greatest good, they'll start healing, um, including entities, you know, and healing entities automatically. Now, I figured out or un now understand the way in which your light radius can be activated to the highest level. Uh, and that is being in that place of stillness. So you might ask, well, how, do, how can I be still when I'm walking? <laughs> I gotcha. Well, it's the state of being. Uh, so it's like what I call being while you're doing. So being fully you in that state while you're doing something. Or being this for busy people is my other way of saying it. So when you are able to sense and be in that state of being and what it feels like is that complete calm um, this you know underlying undulation of joy and peace no matter what's going on around you, you fully feel like you are in the eye of the storm if there's anything negative going around you when you are emanating that then that activates the highest potential of your light radius and um, before I share with you how you do that, uh, this happened to me during our coaching sessions in San Diego where we were partnering up with, with folks to just to practice with each other. And one of these wonderful gals that I was partnered with, when it was my turn to start questioning her, I had just done the process um, uh, consciously of, of being, you know. And so there's a residual effect, kind of like a morphic feel energetically, um, you know, that occurs after doing this practice. So now she doesn't know that I'm doing that, right? <laughs> but so we start this coaching process. I'm asking her questions and she starts to yawn and yawn and yawn <laughs> about five times she yawned during that 15 minute process and uh, I thought to myself yeah somebody's healing <laughs> uh, but uh, I told her the next day I said oh do you remember that when we were partnering together and you were yawning she goes oh my gosh I'm so embarrassed I'm so sorry I'm like no 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 don't be sorry that was you healing that was a healing response because I do that when I receive energy healing um, and uh, She's like, oh, okay. Yeah, so actually it's really interesting because I um, went back in time, so to speak, and measured her light score before and after, and it had jumped almost 10 points, just you know, being in my presence and interacting with me. And uh, the other thing I realized is while in that you feeling in that um, you know, stillness, uh, Frank call, Kinslow calls it you feeling, um, that, that there's a... Um, there's an entrainment that can go on. So people that are re willing, receptive, able to, you know, are now able to tap into that um, more positive morphic field with you and they therefore they start healing as well. Whatever you put your attention to while in that state or close to when you were in that state uh, will heal even faster. So, for example, I was working with my uh, friend, Dr. Aaron Kinney, uh, about doing, you know, um, you know, light score testing, and uh, so she was just popping up these answers. She wasn't even muscle testing, right? And she was accurate. So we were muscle testing something, or I was muscle testing something, and by the time she, you know, saw the number in her mind, and then I tested, it was a different number. And I was wondering why, because she was seemed really super accurate with the other two things. And uh, what it was was because my attention, because I was doing, you know, this practice already in this being state, um, I was paying attention to whatever it is she was had already tested. And by the time I tested it, it had only been, what, a minute or something? Uh, that substance or that thing had already raised its light score by mm, 10 points or something like that. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. So where you place your attention, especially when you're in that um, state of being, will start elevating its light score, will start healing. Cool or cool. 
Yeah, very cool. So how do you do that? Well, um, you do this through this uh, while you're awake, I mean, and while you're not lying down in a dark room. <laughs> of course, you can do it then. Um, but Frank Hinslow talks about it in his uh, The Secrets of Quantum Entrainment book. And that is one wonderful, uh, sorry, The Secrets of Instant Healing, where he teaches quantum entrainment. That's a wonderful way to get into the state of you feeling. And that's how I originally learned it. Uh, and then I had... Um, you know, a student of mine, say, had difficulty uh, doing it through that particular technique. So I asked Source about a different technique, and I got the, what I now call stoem, so stillness through observing internal movement, where you observe the internal movement inside your body, really go in deep, you know, and feel it. And while you're sensing, attending, you know, to this movement, um, your mind stills. And then you feel just this calm and this, this peace as a side effect of that as well. So uh, that's the way I go in because it's uh, the fastest, quickest way for me because I'm clairsentient. I, you know, I'm in the body. I feel a lot of stuff. So that's a fast uh, way for me to do it. Um, but there, it's, it's, you know, either way, it doesn't really matter how you do it, but it's really neat that you can get in that state no matter what you're doing. That's what I love about it. So um, uh, speaking of that, um, the... The way in which you can manifest the future of your desires has to do with seeding your future reality through the stillness. Let me repeat that. How you manifest your future reality in the quickest, fastest, most efficient way, okay, is to seed that stillness with your new reality or future, like as if it's already done. Now, we've already taught this in the Unlock Your Superpowers course, um, but, oh, you know, I didn't teach people how to go into the stillness. I just referred them on, you know, to Frank's book and whatever, um, and now I realize that some people are not going to quite get it, uh, although most people will, um, and um, I would love to have emphasized even more importantly, uh, now that I know about sacred geometry and more about the stillness, so uh, the cool thing is that for those of you that had not been able to join us for the Supercharger Healing Powers program in early September, um, I'm going to be adding in some bonuses, including the stone meditation, um, the stone for manifesting, and the stone for managing negative situations in your life so they resolve as quickly as possible. And so that is going to be going on sale very shortly. So you can check out uh, below this video on YouTube for a link. Uh, when we're ready, we'll, we'll put that link in. I know some people are anxiously waiting uh, for the material. So we're going to be having the Supercharger Healing Powers recordings as well available probably early November. We need some time to edit and all, you know, all that audio and video. But in the meantime, um, we're going to be gifting you the accelerator training, which is $1,000, which includes the stone meditation and additional uh, training and meditation related to what I just talked about, like how to use stone for manifesting your ideal vision, how to use uh, stone for handling negative situations, so you're like the eye of the storm, etc. Um, so uh, we're going to gift uh, that to you ahead of time uh, before uh, we are able to, you know, to deliver the Supercharger Healing Powers recordings in early November, and that's three days of training. So if you are like, I don't need your webpage up, just give me the link to purchase it. Yeah, we, we can do that. So I'll put that link uh, down below the video. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, one of my friends that I met with here in San Diego said, you know, you know, don't you have concern for the future? He says, I'm really concerned about the future. There's a lot of things going on I do not like that look bad. Things are going to look bad. And he's got two kids, you know. And I said, I totally understand that. I totally get it. And here's the thing. If you want to manifest that peaceful, wonderful future for yourself and your children, your number one job is going to be going to stillness. You get concerned, you get anxious, you go into stillness. And I know, like, in the past, I used to be like, blah, 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 stillness meditation, yada, yada, yada. What does that do? <laughs> yeah, I was pretty judgmental back then. Um, but now I understand the technology, the manifesting technology of how that actually works. And it is working in my life awesomely. So I really want you to experience all that magic, too. Um, so that's your job. You get anxious, you go into stillness in whichever way is effective for you. And the way I like to do it is through stone because I can do it while I am being, while, while I am talking. I do not have to be lying still, although that is still extremely valuable. Get it? Yes? Okay. Um, 
And speaking of going into alternate realities, um, there was a situation where we were able to test that, you know, one of my clients was uh, um, had a particular reality. And when I tested for myself, it was not the same reality. And I thought that's kind of weird because we're talking now together, obviously, in the same reality. And what it was, was um, I had quantum based on my meditations and things like that. I had quantum jumped to a different parallel reality okay where i had different experiences she was in the original one we were both in and then as we were closing in on the time that we were going to talk to each other our attention was on each other and guess what attention does right so attention actually focuses the quantum streams and now in this case she actually is now on my quantum stream reality we both share it now so we were originally here, I quantum jumped over here to this new reality, okay? And then as we closed to the time we were going to connect together our awareness of each other, in this case she jumped to my new reality, which is a preferred reality by the way for both of us, so pretty cool stuff. So it's possible that what you might be, you know, what somebody might be say muscle testing is completely real in their reality. Um, and you test that it's not real in your reality, but it's real in their reality. And then when you both get together, you're now both on the same reality. So I kind of call it like, I, how I see it in my mind is like quantum ribbons, streams, like a light that basically coalesce or connect together or one jumps to the other, things like that. So it's, theoretically, and I don't even really can't explain quantum physics at all to you, but um, it's uh, my understanding from talking to source is that it's very, very possible that we could jump to a different quantum stream where, um, you know, people are different. And uh, it's sort of like um, you might have a family member who is a real pain in the butt, <laughs> mean to you or whatever, and you jump a quantum stream based on the new reality that you wish to create. And all of a sudden that person is acting differently towards you. And you're like, don't you remember all the crappy stuff you used to do to me? <laughs> and they may not remember because in that reality, they didn't do it. Yeah, I've sort of had that happen to me before. Not in that particular situation of a mean family member, but I've had situations where, you know, this other person swears that I did X, Y, Z. And I'm like, I don't remember doing that <laughs> you know, or saying that. So pretty neat stuff. So just be aware of that. Um, some other exciting things to report. Um, we are getting uh, some fast downloads of some positive dimensional energies. Um, and uh, those of us that are, especially star seeds, you know, the sensitives, um, may get faster downloads of this chi or energy, or this dimensional energy, uh, so much so it kind of increases that flow in the uh, energetic nervous system or the heart or some other areas, which may cause some, you know, minor symptoms here or there. So all you need to do is just check in to see, you know, how fast the positive dimensional energies are dropping in or downloading and activated and whether or not that's the ideal speed for you. If it's too fast, uh, then you can go ahead and just, you know, command that it downloads, in this case, slower. Uh, I was trying to figure out whether we should have it um, integrated faster or divert energy to the Dantian faster. We talked about that in other videos and the answer was for this particular case, no, just slow it down, <laughs> slow down the download. So see if that helps you. Um, and then uh, uh, the other day I woke up, um, a little uncomfortable. Usually when I feel like I'm a little uncomfortable, I know that uh, something's going on. Usually either I'm proxying for someone or something or I'm temporarily reversed. And in this case, it was I was proxying for mass consciousness. Yeah, mass consciousness uh, of the entire multiverse. No, not just our world. Uh, the entire multiverse, mass consciousness. And um, it was entity related. So we're in, a, in a, what we call a resistance phase of the ascension cycle. And uh, this particular entity was not one that I was familiar with, um, but um, I didn't really bother naming it uh, because um, it was one that was born out of mass consciousness. And remember, this is an entire multiverse here. So some entities exist in some universes and don't exist in others. Um, so I thought, well, that's interesting. Why am I being led to this? Like, why am I proxying for the entire multiverse? And then later on, it was the Infiniverse. Um, so it was because that um, this mass consciousness was able to create, quote unquote, create 
new entities of which this was one. So I thought, well, what do we do about that? So my first thought, which is very, really cool, uh, because you know sometimes your first thought is your intuitive hit. The first thought was, well, why don't I just pull that blueprint? You know, pull that template out. You know, if I'm allowed, obviously. So I did. <laughs> so I pulled the blueprint or uh, you know template out for that ability uh, for mass consciousness to create new entities. So I was like, all right, well that's pretty cool. And as far as the Infiniverse, which is everything in creation, okay, um, I think there was a positomorphic field that uh, ended up downloading for everyone, and I don't even remember what it was, but <laughs> you probably have it now. Um, so that was kind of neat. So it's just I'm just reporting, you know, some of the some of the work that I do to uh, erase and uncreate things. Now sometimes you're not allowed to do that, but in this particular case, I was allowed to do that. So um, uh, to erase, dissolve, and uncreate the template and morphic fields to create new entities specifically from the mass consciousness of the multiverse. All right, so that's pretty cool. Um, so Monday, some announcements. Uh, so Monday um, on the 24th, I'll be back home. I'll be doing the radio show at 12 noon Eastern. So those of you that have been patiently awaiting my monthly uh, mini readings and healings, that's the time to connect with me there. We'll do some uh, mini readings and mini healings for you. It doesn't matter what topic it is, but that's your time to get a free mini reading from me. And um, also, uh, for those of you in the Light Warrior Revolution program, that's our monthly program with master classes and Topican Healing, uh, our topic this month is autoimmunity. So you already have that in your student portal, the training on autoimmunity, and I look forward to uh, later in the week training and doing some live Q&A with you so we can take some examples and then go ahead and do some more detailed in-depth healing for those of you suffering from autoimmunity, uh, allergies, uh, intolerances, and I'm really excited about that because I have found for myself an incredible improvement in my quality of life having uh, been able to um, erase, so to speak, the autoimmune uh, issues, in, um, which was complicated, but, uh, you know, in my multiverse life. So we're going to explain more about how to do that. So if you are part of the Light Warrior Revolution membership, you already know Topican Healing, um, and uh, you can join us for that. So every month we have the recorded class and then the live class where we do live Q&A and examples of the group and do some group healing. Yay! Uh, so if you do, are you, if you're new to Topican Healing, but uh, you know you know how to uh, divine muscle test now, you're certainly invited to join us. Uh, the link for that is, uh, I believe it's LightWarriorRevolution.com. <laughs> I say I believe because I, because uh, it's it's kind of new. Yeah, I think it's LightWarriorRevolution.com, uh, or you can go to KarenCan.com forward slash LWR. Yes. So those are the links for that. So I look forward to coming back home and um, you know continuing um, our work together as Light Warriors. You guys are so awesome. Lots of love to you. Until next time, kiss. Bye for now. <laughs>